What's up, Libras? Welcome to Oshun's Tarot Garden with your Oshun, the Rojo, Missouri. And we're just going to see what messages we have here for you. This is going to be a nice, small, not so long reading for you guys. Okay, for some reason, Candy Shop is stuck in my head for you guys. I don't know if y'all heard it on today or that's a song that you like or if it has anything to do with this reading. But yeah, definitely thinking about taking it to the Candy Shop for my Libras. Okay, you guys can be feeling sexy during this time. Who knows? Okay. This could be your birthday month. So what's up? How y'all feeling, Libras? Mm. It looks like some good things are about to come for you. You about to have a shift coming in. All right. We got positive changes. We got to stay focused. These cards just popping out. Ooh, they really want you to focus. All right, so it seems like they want you to get into a positive mindset. Okay, getting into a positive mindset and not just focusing so much on what's not happening or what cannot happen. Okay, so let's see. We also have an artistic expression. I feel like a lot of you guys could be dancing. Okay. Okay, or you can be doing the art of sex, okay, because we do have fertility here. Also here that you guys need to drink more water, Okay. Uh, I think it's about clearing your skin up, Libra. You could be having some pimples or some blemishes or something going on. I'm telling you to drink more water during this time. Um, artistic expression, fertility. Ooh, okay. Like I said, I feel like a lot of you guys could be going into the sexual act this month. And then somebody's going to be real, real fertile. <laughs> and you could be coming out pregnant. But we're going to see what this is all about, Okay. So we got this positive change here, and I think they want you to focus on being positive. I feel like you could be in the mindset of kind of altering back and forth of wanting something good and then, you know, trying to, you know, you try to think positive, you try to be positive, and then like maybe a few days later, because you're not seeing the positive changes happen immediately, your mind can just be going elsewhere, like you feel like you don't have enough, okay? All right, so positive changes. I feel like a lot of you guys can keep going back to a routine that you had once before, okay? All right, I feel like you guys can be going back to something. I don't know. You can be recommitting to something from the past. Don't know if that's too good. We have the King of Wands in first. Don't know if that's too good. We have the Five of Wands here. I feel like it's going to be kind of a struggle, like a bumping of heads, okay? But I think they're trying to tell you that this is going to, it can it can turn positive. You just got to put the work into it. What do you got for my Libras? Yeah. So, yeah, it can end up being fulfilling. So, if a lot of you guys are going back to something, like back to something that you enjoy, back to a person, back to a job, whatever it is, back to old, like, I don't know, trying to eat healthy, whatever it may be. You're falling back into some old habits. You're retrying them again or re revisiting a relationship or whatever it is. It just might be rocky at first or it might be like a little bickering at first or just something, some things, some humps that you got to get over, I should say. But it's just like at the end, it's going to be very, very fulfilling for you. Okay, you just have to make sure that you're not thinking about it. I feel like a lot of you guys are constantly thinking about the negatives of it or constantly attaching yourself to the bad thoughts or something okay i'm also feeling here with this positive change some of you guys are gonna have to take a risk of um you know doing something that's more structured something that you don't agree with okay or taking the risk to do something that's unorthodox okay you might get a lot of flashback like from a camera flashback you might get about a lot of lashback a lot of flashback from different people but you have to realize that these are your goals these are your dreams this is your life that you're living libra so these changes are positive the way you think about these things are positive so think about the you know the risk that you're taking think about just risk Take the risk of really just thinking about things in a different nature, okay? Like, celebrate your hard times as well as your good times, okay? So we have to stay focused here for you guys. Let's see. What does Libra need to focus on? Oh, it looks like you got a lot on your mind. Uh, you guys could be trying to do a lot of things at once right now. Okay, okay. That That's what it is. We got the Seven of Cups with the, uh, with the Lovers. Okay, a lot of you guys, y'all got a lot of options. You can't stay focused. Maybe you 
Okay. Okay. You guys. <laughs> you guys. Look, we got the six. We got the lovers, the seven of cups, and we have the four of pentacles here. Okay, so you guys are trying to make the decision on if you want to connect with somebody, but I feel like you guys keep keep resorting back, like keep holding back from allowing yourself to be in a committed relationship. I feel like you guys are just thinking about it too much. Not necessarily that somebody has a lot of options. You, I mean, you can't have a lot of options, Libra, because you're fine. You're bad like that. You're looking good to people. Your skin glowing. You're looking real, real fine. But the fact is, uh, I feel like you like, you might be in the sense of liking your singleness, liking your independence right now. So you're not sure if you're just ready to commit. You have a, you might feel like you have a lot to do right now, a lot on your hands, a lot of goals and things that you're trying to obtain that you don't have time for a relationship. So you can be finding that you need to hold on to what you're trying to do or you feel like you need to push pause on a relationship because you, you're trying to focus elsewhere or you're just definitely not ready to settle down. Let's see. All right, so we got to focus on your strengths. Tell me about that for Libra. Focus on your strengths for Libra. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so I feel like a lot of you guys keep putting yourself down, thinking about negative thoughts, thinking about things that you haven't done, you haven't accomplished. We have the Ace of Cups here. They're really saying that you need to take time. A lot of, a lot of you guys need to rest, okay? It's like the door, the portal is trying to open for you guys. But you're allowing yourself, you're blocking yourself from even getting to it, uh, allowing this new opportunity to come in, whether this is love or something else that you're waiting for. It's just like you're blocking it because of your thoughts, the way you're thinking about things. You have a negative aspect on it. So you just might want to think about things a little differently. I feel like you guys also need some, need to, to find time to rest more, to sleep more. I feel like you've just been running on E or you've been running off your iced coffees from Starbucks right now. Okay, it's just like you're running on E, you're running on co uh, sp coffee, <laughs> your iced coffee from Starbucks, and you're really not giving yourself enough time to rejuvenate. So I feel like you guys need to take into consideration like sleeping, resting, relaxing. You might be feeling pains in your, around your back area, like sprinkling pains in different places. It's because your body is asking for rest, okay? So they're just wanting you to relax your mind, free your mind, free your body, and just recharge for a moment, okay? Stop stressing yourself out about things that you can't do right now and start praising yourself for the things that you have done or the things that you can do, okay? all right so somebody's leaving a trail <laughs> and for some reason it's telling me love but somebody's leaving a trail there's a lot of grounding that needs to go on okay i feel like there's some grounding that needs to go on so a lot of you guys could be your artistic expression i like i said it could be you um getting sexual with somebody but also feel like just doing yoga or stretching and different things like that and allowing yourself to kind of um see things from a different perspective and when I say that, I just picture you like bent over in a yoga pose and seeing life different, like upside down. Or you might notice something on the wall as well. It could also be an earth sign who is thinking about you or someone who has earth in their chart pretty heavy. I just lost the whole card. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we have the five of swords. You're definitely on somebody's mind. Could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. On somebody's mind, heavy. They're thinking about you a lot and alone. I feel like they're trying to pick up some words to try to tell you. So you could be receiving a text message from an earth sign. It could be anyone in general. Or somebody could be trying to write some lyrics about you. Okay? I do feel like somebody's trying to, trying to contact, trying to reach you. But they're just trying to figure out how to say it. They might be sending a song to you like within the next three to four days. All right, Libra, they want you to take charge of a situation. What situation does Libra need to take charge of? Mm -hmm. They 
until you have what it takes. Yes. All right. So definitely feel like there could be some financial problems with the family, with a family member, and you're going to have to set them straight. With this strength card popping out to me, Libra is just letting me know that you guys are about to speak up about a situation. Okay, you, you're having to let it be known. I feel like with the Libra being a justice scale, with this two of pentacles, it's just giving me the vibe that you're going to have to be the mediator with this family situation so people can see. I feel like somebody keeps digging in somebody's pockets or taking advantage of a situation and you're going to have to come in and step in and let somebody know, like... You're going to have to tell them what it is. Like, hey, bro, like, chill out. Like, you keep doing this, this, and that. You, like, what, what are you doing for everybody else? Or are you even taking into consideration of how it's affecting so-and-so and so-and-so? And so? Like, I just feel like you're going to have to be the mediator to open up somebody's eyes, okay, about a situation. All right, Libra, if you've been trying to get pregnant by this person, the reason that it's not working is because this person is not meant for you. Okay, this is something the spirit is trying to protect you from. This is something that you don't want with this individual. If you've been trying to get somebody pregnant or you've been trying to get pregnant by this person, the spirit is not having it. They are protecting you. They are not allowing this to go through for specific reasons. Okay, they do not want you to be attached to this person for the rest of your life. Okay. They're telling you to move fast, move on from this person fast, get away from them. Like, mm. it's some dark shit that's going on with this person. Look, they saying, <laughs> with Chuck, we got the, what is this? The Empress, the Page of Pentacles. All right, so they want you to get your stuff together, pack up all your stuff, and get ready to go. Okay, it's time for you to move into something new, find you a new job, find you a new place to live. It's time for you to run away from this person, move away from this person. I feel like Spirit's been trying to tell you that you got these signs here. Going back up here, I feel like Spirit's been trying to give you a whole bunch of signs and choices. And you just been focused on this sexual connection with this person or the toxic attachments to this person. <laughs> and maybe that's you holding on to this person, okay? So some of you guys, it's just the sex with this King of Wands. You digmatized, okay? Yeah, you digmatized and you can't see clearly, okay? Some of you guys don't cut your family off behind this. You don't even care about you being happy, okay? You on the fast track to hell. This person is taking all of it, okay? Look, you're not even, you're not even seeing clearly. You don't even have a fresh pair of eyes anymore. All right, Libra, that is the reading that I have for you today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.